So, uh, welcome everybody. This is the first podcast on my channel. My name is Ivan Cetanovic, aka Process. And today we are having a very special guest. Uh, his name is Andre Santi. He's a, a mobile game developer from Brazil. And he's uh, currently having a game with more than 10 million downloads on Google Play Store. Andre, thank you for coming. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you for, for the invitation. It will be a pleasure to, to talk to you. <laughs> nice. So um, I guess we could start a little bit uh, about not not about like uh, straight to the hottest topic about Magic Rampage. Maybe we could start um, with uh, your beginnings. So I guess we could uh, sure. talk a little bit about your early career. What can you tell us about your early career as a developer or maybe even before that? Well, as a developer, professional developer, it started about 10 years ago, but I, I started in programming, especially because I wanted to become a game developer, like probably 20 years ago or so. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it is around 20 years ago now. Uh -huh. And uh, it, I, it started uh, basically by myself. I, I asked my, my dad, what, wh how I could make games, how, how games were made, because I always liked video games. I think most of us do. Since I was mm -hmm. a kid, I had contact with video games. And I asked my dad wh uh, how games were made, and he, he said that I, I'd have to become a programmer and learn to code. And I started studying programming ever since I was very young, around 12, 13, or 14 years old, mm -hmm. around that time. And I, I, I've always focused on game development. So I, my, my all my my studies, my reading were fo focus focused on that. Mm -hmm. And I first started with graphics programming, and and it, and it went ahead. How many uh, like how many games uh, did you make before Magic Rampage? Well, uh, though though I. You know, I programmed games, say, for 20 years. Um, the first game I, I made it, like, first game I f actually finished, a game with a beginning, a, a middle, and, a, and an end. It was mm -hmm. Penumbra. I think you know that. It was, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. It was in, in 10 years ago. Yeah, about 10 years ago. And let's say, in Penumbra, it's, it's the first one, Penumbra, though it, it has never been published. It, uh, but it was finished, and there's, there's, and then and I went to a company called Jera here in my town. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked in three games there, and then I made Magic Portals and uh, hit the Gator. It was just a side project, just as an experiment, and mm -hmm. Magic Rampage. I think it's, I think it is seven. I may be missing missing something, but around seven. Uh, but B Avengers, I think you missed that one. Yeah, I counted uh, as as when I yeah. for, for when I was working at that company because I I, uh -huh. I developed that game in the company, and then uh, it was yes. transferred to to my other company now. But it's not even online right. right now. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how did your uh, how did your like development team change when you started going for like uh, for solo programming? So uh, because I know that when you started. You, there weren't many members in your team. There was only you and I think Bruno and maybe a few more persons. Yeah. yeah, I had the chance to work with other people when I was in Jera, the company I told you before. But when after I left Jera and started Magic Portals, it was basically just me. And I, I hired uh, some illustrators and, uh, well, the music was licensed, so there, there was not, not anyone I was working with. So I hired some illustrator around three or four people in total worked for Magic Portals. Not not in the in, in the team, but you know, like third party. And uh, well, after you know, the, the team in S T games only started to grow after Magic Rampage, then we got Woodson, the mm -hmm. illustrator, and then now now we're around seven people in the team right now. Uh, but uh -huh. just after Magic Rampage, like four or five years from, from now, just it, it started to, to grow. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. 
Are there any uh, did this uh, pandemic influence your your um, your work or is it like the same as before? Yeah, it, it did influence uh, our work because we were in a, in an office back in until the beginning of 2020. We we had an office. All all the team would would go there to to work, and since then we're every everyone everyone is working from home. So it, it does, you know, we cannot say it won't affect our work because it does, you know, it makes a difference to to be, you know, every, everyone together, it does make a difference. And maybe yeah. like the, the speed or, or on how things, I think, I think it's it's a characteristic of home office working. I think that the speed of things that need to get done are, are get a little bit slower. But I, mm -hmm. I do like the pace right now, how things are going, though, though I think mm -hmm. most people would complain that things are taking way too much. Maybe we, we will yeah. talk about that later. Yes, but, that's, uh, that's like the most asked questions ever. When is the new update yeah. coming? Please tell me. Yeah, so uh, so yeah, that, that's how it affected us. But yeah, we, okay. we, we're fine until now. We, we, uh, we, we do have a, a new office right now, uh, a smaller one. But we're not using it. Sometimes one or two people of the team go there because they they, they like to to leave the, their homes for a while. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. it's just optional. But we do have a place right now. But I still prefer working from home most of times. Most of the time. Okay. All right. Uh, what uh, what ex uh, inspired you to make Magic Rampage? Was it just an idea? Yeah, I'm gonna make this game. Or did you like play any other games and and you were like I, I'm going to make something similar to this because I I would love to play this. It, it's it's that also uh, I made a game that I I'd like to have as a player, and Magic Rampage is the combination of all things I'd liked I, I was want uh, I wanted to do in the previous games but I wouldn't have enough you know time and resources to develop. Mm -hmm. Like Magic Portals and Penumbra, they they all they all have these elements. Sorry, my my dog is barking. Do, okay, is it is it going to the? I can hear it. Yes. <laughs> I, I'll just close the door. Just, just a second. <laughs> it's... Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Maybe you will probably still hear it, but uh, it's it's not uh, a big deal. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying. Um, yeah. Well, Magic Portals. And, and Penumbra were games that had elements I, I'd like to have in my, like say, Ultimate game. Mm -hmm. And uh, once once Magic Portals were, was finished, if we can say it was ever finished, actually, but uh, it, it it brought to brought together uh, all things I'd like to see in a platformer because mm -hmm. I, I do like 2D games. I always liked them. Though, though I mean, of course, I, I do. Most of my top games are, are like three D games or more recent games, but I do do love how two D works, and uh, and Mario, Donkey Kong, uh, many yeah, others yeah. were were part of my my childhood, and I always loved it, especially Nintendo games, but Nintendo platformers. So uh, the inspiration comes basically from from many of these games. From the 16-bit era, uh, though there there's lots of influences from more recent games. Yes, um, yes. Yeah. The thing I wanted to ask you about your game: why uh, why isn't there any melee mechanic? Why can't you just go and you know slash people? Why why are you just throwing uh, weapons? Yeah, that's that's a question many people make. Uh, well, I, I do like. You remember that Go game, Go, Ghosts and Goblins, and Ghosts and Goals? It came with many different names. Oh, I, I don't know actually. I, I really don't know. Yeah, well, what, what was it about? It, it's a platformer. Uh, you 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 control a, a knight and you throw knives. Basically, you know, I think most of the time your your main weapon. I can remember if you have other weapons, but you you throw. That knife and it's like it's like Magic Rampage, like he, like he has infinite knives and he throws at enemies. Yes. And there is another game you probably don't know. Mo most people don't know it. You, sh you should Google it. It's called I think it's God. It's a PC game. It's called it's called God. 
G-O-D. Let, let's just con let me just confirm if it's okay. I googled God, and there's many pictures of God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, PC God PC game. Uh, yeah, it's God. God, that's uh, a PC game. If you, if you Google God PC, it's it's another okay. game that brings this mechanics of you know throwing your. It, it was there were axes and and it, for, I played it like when I was very young and it looked really cool to me. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I always liked these mechanics. You throw your weapon and you have infinite. I always liked uh, uh, ranged ranged combat, but mm -hmm. I thought that many of these games like. Of course, it's a classic. I cannot cannot deny its importance. But I think, like Ghosts and Goals, for instance, it's it's too, it's too difficult and too frustrating. I'd like to play a game like that with those mechanics, but that wasn't frustratingly difficult, yeah, yeah. and it had more had more uh, a more complex and deep story. Uh -huh, so, yeah. and uh, so basically, it's, it was it's, just like uh, similar to Dark Souls. But older and two D. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was, there isn't any like that much that that much shooting in Dark Souls. I just want to compare uh, compare the difficulties. Yeah, the difficulty. Yeah, it was pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can okay. say it was Dark Souls before Dark Souls was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't like frustrating frustrating games. Maybe that's probably why I love Nintendo games so much because they they usually are not frustratingly difficult. There's mm -hmm. it, they're. they're for me, for my taste, they're all, they're all, pretty well balanced, and I like that. Yeah, enjoyable. Doesn't get yeah, yeah. yeah I, so, yeah. so yeah, that's answering your question. Uh, I, I, Magic Rampage is part of the frustration I had with these games, that mm -hmm. they had these mechanics of ranged combat that I, that I always loved. Plus, you know, yeah. the, the space shooters like things like the, the, these space shooters mechanics. Because you know you're you're shooting things. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and and uh, and also there's another reason, because uh, having having uh, a well complex, fun and complete uh, melee combat experience would cost more on animation. Because yes. uh, on, uh, on Magic Rampage, we the idea was to you 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 can change your your appearance, your armor, and you. You will look. You you will wear. You you look like what you're wearing. Would yes, you could you yes. could, could customize that? And with uh, and it would be way difficult, much more difficult, if it had ranged combat because you need maybe lots of animation to make yes, it I flow. Yes, people. Yeah, yeah. People don't understand that when you are making an animation, uh, animation especially for two D. That, uh, for example, for every new armor, you need like uh, six or seven frames of that armor just yeah. to make like the uh, moving and attack animation. And when you're having like uh, when you're having uh, uh, weapons that you can just throw, then you don't need like uh, animations for your weapon. Like, uh, yeah, you know, you know exactly. what I mean. So that's basically exactly. a lot, a lot more work and it needs obviously more money and time. Yeah, exactly, and, and I. Uh, that's why most of today's 2D games use use uh, skeleton-based animations, like they're mm -hmm. they're like vectors, and I don't like that. I, I don't like how uh, vector animation looks. I like frame by frame, drawn, hand drawn, frame by frame animation. That's uh, I like it. I like it that way much better. So, mm -hmm. okay. so yeah, that it's also not another reason why. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there anything uh, anything you can tell us about uh, skill tree? Sure, sure. Uh, unfortunately, for for most of you guys who are watching this video who don't speak Portuguese, there you're not following my my live streams, where I show you know how how how, how the, the skill tree is going. But what what I can say now is there will be three lanes, th three main lanes. Or tracks, you can say tracks, and uh, each one will you you can choose which whichever you like. You can distribute your points, which whichever however you like. Mm -hmm. Your points will come from the levels on the campaign you complete with three diamonds. So each level completed with a diamond is one point, and mm -hmm. also summed with the 
uh, your your level in the competitive mode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you you have that much points to distribute, and the, the three lanes are, the first one. I mean, uh, it's not that the first one is more important than the others. Just the order they will be presented, but it's okay. equ they're equally important. And, uh, Okay, the, fir the first lane will, is, is more focused focus on, on DPS and speed, like damage okay. and other damage, uh, damage focused things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second lane will be focused on more miscellaneous skills, like there will be like triple jump, triple jump, gold mm -hmm. and XP magnet, mm -hmm. Some, things mm -hmm. like that, you know, more, more things more, more like yes. general gen more general things and the, the 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 last one will be focused on on defense defense uh -huh. and maybe some uh, uh aoe like damage uh, uh -huh. area area damage okay and you, you well said, uh, you said that uh, it's gonna you're gonna get the points from dungeons with uh, with uh, with a star or diamonds diamonds yeah i think i thought about that but i think uh, the star would be too frustrating for more casual players. So, uh -huh. I... and uh, and which uh, dungeons exactly? You mean the solo dungeons, or? Yeah, the the campaign ones. Yeah, that's the, the in the, the uh -huh. single player campaign. Can... Uh -huh. so not, yeah, not the solo. The, uh, not the dungeons from the PvP solo uh, dungeons. No, no, from the campaign. No, but but you 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 will have points from the competitive mode because the the player level where you were at. Yes. No, because the, you know you have the, your your level and the, your rank in the competitive yes. mode. Mm -hmm. Your level is the one that you know, it grows when you get XP. It goes up yes. to thirty at the moment. Yes, I think yeah, it's thirty, right? Yeah. So the, these these will also count uh, okay. uh -huh. as points. So uh, it, it, like the, each lane will have a a last, which I'm calling ultimate ultimate skill. That mm -hmm. will give you uh, a new a new skill, pretty much like it is uh -huh. with the class special skill, but it will be a skill uh, for for that lane. Oh. oh yeah, nice. Yeah, cool. So there will be three of these, and uh, uh, what do I say? Uh, yeah, if if you if you have points, you, you, if you have finished the campaign mode, you have just enough points to get one ultimate. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, so you're you, not you, like able to uh, to unlock all the all the abilities equally. You'll need a certain amount of points. Yeah. If, for example, you need to unlock the first one to get the one in the middle, right? Uh, uh, no, you you have three the, the three lanes, and there there will be like a track of uh, order. Uh, there there will be an order of for each, yes. for each skill, and you in order to unlock the like. In order to unlock the second skill for the first lane, you need the first skill. Uh -huh. Then you can unlock uh, okay. the second skill, then the third skill, the fourth skill. Until you, so, so to get the your ultimate, you need to unlock the entire the entire lane. Uh huh. Okay. But you so it's will gonna be like a gameplay changing uh, update. It's gonna be really big. Yeah, it, it will be big. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you, have, like, you you only be you able to unlock one one ultimate for each lane. So you will mm -hmm. have to pick which one you, you want to specialize, but mm -hmm. you can you can eventually, like I, I want this other lane up until here and the other lane up until here. It will bring a lots of uh, strategy, more strategy on top of it. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you need to think well before choosing which one. Of course, you will be able to reset your skills, but you need to think. And uh, it will be much more interesting after the, the you know, once we start wor working on the new multiplayer modes we're planning for after chapter five is ready, is mm -hmm. finished. Okay, all right. So, so you, you're uh, going to say something? I wanted something? to ask you, do you have like an estimated date for the release or is it like uh, when you release it, you release it? Well, I will, I would estimate a release for the skill tree uh, for better players. Let me see. I would estimate like until the maybe end of June mm -hmm. okay. for beta players. I I still I still want to release the skill tree along with the first part of the next dungeon, the next level, this next episode. 
the 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 next episode will probably be be separate into two or three parts because it will be so long that you need to I, okay. I, I decided to break these these two less levels in the chapter five in in, in parts to because okay. they will be long so right. I so I, I was gonna say I uh, I want to release the skill tree along with at least the first part of the next episode but I th I, I think probably the better players will get access to it beforehand okay all right mm -hmm. and now I have a really interesting question for you do you have like any plans to add voice acting to your characters well we we do not have plans but uh, if we're, we're ever gonna do that it, it will have to be well done there, there, there's there's an, another another obstacle which is you know that there are many language languages the game is translated into so it will be costly to translate in each language yes yes and mm -hmm. and it, it will have to be well done you know i when when you have when you have voice acting in a game if it sucks yes. if the acting is <laughs> is bad it, it breaks the whole game so it, it, it has to be good True, until yes. we until we're not able to do very really good voice acting we will not do that because it would break the game okay <laughs> i understand i understand it and, sucks i hate uh, i hate bad voice acting <laughs> true me too same same and uh, now uh, i have a really like um, i have seen on social media and groups about magic rampage people are always fighting who has the bigger fan base of magic rampage are, is it Russians or Brazilians? Yeah, I, like the, I think I, I one I of the most that. asked questions. I did at first. I, I didn't know they were there. There was a lot of fighting. Well, it's not like fighting. It's more like a heated debate. All right. <laughs> well, I think I think since since the biggest chunk of our audience is from Brazil, I mean, thirty percent, around thirty percent, which is not even half of it but it's the biggest chunk mm -hmm. maybe it's brazil but russia is certainly on second place and then, and then comes mexico okay and yeah and and then the there are many other countries with uh, smaller chunks all together yes yes because i saw that the russian community is actually pretty big they have uh, yeah. like the groups in vk that's uh, i'm not sure how many people but i think at least 5k people i'm not sure i'm sorry if i if i made a mistake <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's it's just uh, uh, I feel bad because I I I think the language is a huge barrier between us and the Russian people because in English, yeah, we can we can manage English and Spanish. We can also, I mean, uh, we do understand Spanish, though we cannot speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there, okay. the, the the language barrier is not as huge as with the Russian audience because it's also we can even you know that can even read to try to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but yeah, I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad Russians do like the game. I think on Magic Portals, Russians were the the biggest biggest mm -hmm. chunk of the game. I, I don't know why why you know the game appeals to Russians if it if it if it does. I cannot tell you why, but I yeah, know I'm glad. I I think it's pretty cool. Well, I think they are like more into these old games as you already mentioned your game was inspired by those older games from the 90s 60-bit era and all that stuff and i think they are really into that because there are still people playing dota 1 so dota 1 from warcraft oh, really? 3 many yeah. many people from russia actually play that so i think that's also a really important part oh yeah it makes sense yeah yeah, yeah it's good to know that <laughs> yeah uh and now uh we know that since the first release of Magic Rampage, there have been people that hacked the game to, uh, in order to get more gold and now they are hacking to get more uh, multiplayer points or uh, to get uh, top ranks in uh, dam damage charts on Google Play Store. Could you tell us what happens when a person uh, hacks the game? Are there any uh, detections for them? Are they getting banned? What happens to them? Well, most of these uh, hacking techniques are pretty easy to to track to to find out but we we usually don't don't try try not to to bother with them 
uh, not saying that we do not do not do anything because it breaks other players experience in, in competitive mode but it doesn't I mean, I mean we like to let people do what, what, whatever they like with the game because that's if that's how they are they're making they're, they're having fun that's okay but uh, well as I said it's pretty easy to to detect so we we tag these these players as cheaters ever appear to other players who are not cheaters they won't ever appear for them but they still okay. they still can can play against against non cheaters so like for instance if i if i'm in, if i'm a cheater in the competitive mode and you appeared for me the matchmaking the matchmaking screen and i chose to fight against you and i and i beat you in that match mm -hmm. uh, if i was not a cheater you would receive a, a message saying that you know me, I, I beat beat you, and you you will have the opportunity to to revenge. But since I'm a cheater in this in this example, uh, you my 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 run won't will not even get registered in our in our server. It won't won't even be saved. He, you know, I mean, I will get the the prizes and rewards for that for that. But you 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 won't even even the server doesn't doesn't consider your your play so you can you can still play mm -hmm. but it will cause any harm to it will not cause any harm to other players mm -hmm. and what happens can you appear on the top lists like the top 10 top 7 no, players no no you, you 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 won't you won't appear in any in any ranking okay uh -huh. this is way right. too uh-huh okay so while we are at the multiplayer mode can you like could you tell us why why is the PvP like the way it is currently? Why is it not real time? Because mm -hmm. uh, when we are when we are playing against someone, it's not like it's not happening right now. It's like we are playing against a replay of someone else. Could you explain exactly. why you why did you decide to implement PvP like that? We do not have any previous experience with real time PvP to make the first competitive mode of the game like this because it will be easier for us and it will, will give us the experience we need to in the future make a, a, a real-time competitive mode so that's that, that 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 is the main reason there will be other difficulties that uh, i can foresee for a real-time competitive mode for in, for instance magic rampage has lots of uh, slow motion effects Mm -hmm. like the special yes. abilities they, they all have and the slow motion effects won't work very well on competitive mode on real-time competitive mode because you know time time goes lower for one player but it i mean we, will it be slower for both of them even if the other one is not using a special ability for ability for instance mm -hmm. so there, there's this problem and a, a real-time competitive mode so probably won't have any slow motion effect for this reason that's the first uh, thing I foresee, but uh, it will def definitely happen in the future. We will start working on it as soon as we finish chapter five. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so but does now it, now that we have a lots lot? of well, it, it does cost cost a lot of time, time testing, and probably the servers will be if we decide uh, to make it. Uh, dedicated servers it will cost it will cost a lot but we 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 first probably first experiment with local servers like one of the players is a server mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for this reason possibly the first uh, real time competitive real time let's say multiplayer mode will be co cooperative so that any lag or any any synchronization issue won't cause much uh, frustration Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can learn more on how to, you know, get get some get some 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 know-how, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll we'll just just go step by step. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, now let's let's switch to the classes of Magic Rampage. Um, while playing Druid and Witch Doctor, I I kind of get this feeling that I am not in the control of the situation while I'm playing. I'm not sometimes. I want my minion to do something and I just can't get it to jump on a platform or to kill a certain enemy. Is there any, like, 
would it be possible to introduce advanced controls for uh, Witch Doctor and Druid for Minion? Yeah, I acknowledge that the controls for for the for the minions are not very are not, are not ideal at the moment. Uh, it will be possible to 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 improve it. Uh, I I didn't stop. I don't have plans to to stop to work, stop what I'm doing and focus on these features. I don't have a plan for for that in the in the in the short the short you know short time frame. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I acknowledge there's an issue there, and uh, we, we, it, we, it will be uh, addressed uh, uh, eventually in the future. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and now let's let's uh, switch back to the most important questions of all time, and that is why are updates so slow? Yeah, well, uh, uh, I. As you can tell, I do work in a slow place, slow, slow pace, and it, it got even worse after we are all working from home. Yes. And uh, there's, you'll be able to notice if, if you if you if you play the first episodes first, especially first three episodes, the quality of the whole level, even the, the enemies, the the level design, the appearance, the graphics, they are all much worse than they are now. Even though we are still constantly updating previous levels so they they used to to look and be way way uh like less pretty than they are today yes mm-hmm. but you know that i decided to 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 take the time all the time i need to make the, the level the closest i can i i am able to do t- to perfection of course it will never be perfect of course not but i there's there's a there's a quote by Shigeru Miyamoto. I think you you know that. that I think, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I don't know the exact quote, but he says that uh, a delayed game. Uh, no, no. Let, let, let me try to remember. Uh, oh yeah, a, a delayed game, a delayed game, will may eventually be a good game, but uh, a game that was released on time. That that is bad will be bad forever. So that's true. That's true. So yeah, you don't I, want to do the same thing the Activision Blizzard did to Warcraft Three Reforged, definitely. Oh man! No, so you should just yeah. take your time and uh, do everything. Properly, and also, I and also, I, I, you know, it, it was a surprise to me how many people do care about the story and are into it so strongly. It does it does surprise me? And I don't do not want to disappoint these people. I I do want to make a very good uh, ending, gameplay wise, story wise. Mm-hmm. I want it to be because because you know if it if if I release something on hurry and it suck, it will suck forever. Uh, it, will, yeah, yeah. it will it will be basically it's it will be like I I I wasted all those previous work I made on on the game. Sure. So yes, I want right. to. I want it to be very good. Yeah, yeah. Are you like? Are you taking Magic Rampage as your life work, or do you think you yeah. will re- release uh, another game after Magic Rampage? Oh yeah. Oh. Today, Magic Rampage is my life work. It may, may there may be something else in the future, but I don't have plans for that yet. I don't. I do not. I, th- though I do have other games in mind, I do not have plans to start them. Not until I I am. Uh, not until I, I I see that Magic Rampage is finished. There's not nothing more to do in Magic Rampage, but but I think there there there's so much I I still want to do with Magic Rampage. So much, so many so many game modes. Like uh, I've been dreaming with a uh, a mode a m- multiplayer mode like. Uh, MOBA for Magic Rampage, something like you're advancing oh. and destroying, destroying uh, the enemies' towers and using. Oh, strategies. I would like to play that. Yeah, there, there, there's so there are so many ideas that of, of things I I, I still wanna uh, and make for Magic Rampage that I don't see when I could I would be be ready or willing to to make to start a, a, 
another game from scratch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's that's really like a good idea. I I, I like that idea. Magic yeah, me too. MOBA. That's awesome. Me too. Me too. Me too. I hope I hope no one steals that idea because it will take a while to well, get ready. Uh, even if they steal, I guess you will retain your audience anyways. Yeah. So and, uh, and also there's you know, Magic Rampage has a pretty until now pretty solid story, pretty solid mechanics. So it it, it all accumulates and sums up to whatever comes next. It will be it will have a nice foundation like which mm -hmm. which multiplayer game multiplayer game has a strong story which you may care and even make theories about i i don't know any so of course there's like last of us has a multiplayer mode but you know it's it's not the main focus yeah yeah but yeah, yeah. i think w whatever we, we make in the future it, it will be based in these foundations which are which which is why i also don't have plans to stop magic rampage anytime mm -hmm. soon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh when you started developing magic rampage uh you also started developing your own game engine called etanon engine engine yeah. so could you tell us more about that actually uh, it didn't start for magic rampage it started about in in 20 20 2008 or 2007 maybe mm -hmm. that's that's when i actually started writing the first line of code mm -hmm. of, it, it was an engine that i i would like to use to make my future games and uh, it started for as a focused on uh, I, I would i would back then i i my, my the game i would like to make was a top-down view J, JRPG like game like like the classic Final Fantasy mm -hmm. that would include that would be you know pixel art style but with that rich lighting rich real-time lighting which is why I started Ethanon engine because back then I I'd like to make a game I, w I would make a game that would be 2d but it would use very advanced 3d lighting for the time Mm -hmm. you, you can probably on my on my on smt games youtube channel maybe so i think there there are some videos there very old videos yes, showing that yeah. those those and you know the i was i was more focused on graphics i i thought well people it will look pretty cool a game with that kind of lightning shadowing that no other games have and there there were no game engines that could make that the the way i i expected to so i started making ethanol engine because of that nowadays it's it it, it became even more simple now the, the the ethanol i use now is much more simple than the ethanol i started making 10 years ago mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because because i i realized that most people don't care much about these things they just want to a game with good mechanics yeah. Though, though Magic Rampage does does use some of that, like you know the 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 lightning in the backgrounds of Magic Rampage, some some scenes do 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 still use that technique of three three D lightning on a two D scene, though a more mm -hmm. simplified version of it. And yeah, well, it started You're still because developing of, it. You did not stop yeah, developing. Yeah, well, since since we use it on Magic Rampage and. and Every time I need a new feature or something, I uh -huh. maintain it. It's on GitHub. It's open source. It's on GitHub. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I, I even made another branch for it on GitHub, which is MR, uh, uh, the version V0 slash 9 slash 11 slash MR, MR from Magic Rampage slash Super Simple, which is the the branch of ethanol focus, focused on magic magic rampage i don't recommend uh -huh. anyone to use it because i don't have time for give, to give support for it and it's like there's no reason why you you should pick ethanol instead of unity for instance i i wouldn't recommend anyone but it's there if you want to if you want to check it out it's on okay, github okay. all right and uh, magic portals uh, the last update was when six years ago, maybe. 
Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Would you like, I think... would you, would you like uh, make uh, a new update with improved graphics, like a remaster yes. version of Magic Portals? Yes, I, I'd like to make a remastered version of Magic Portals someday. Maybe not myself, me, I, mean, I mean me, maybe just directing the project, but using the same framework and the same uh, same graphics style and framework and mechanics of Magic Rampage, mm -hmm. but just like remastering the game, making it, uh, it's not a remaster, it's actually it would be a, a, a remake, an actual remake, mm -hmm. you know, making the game from the ground up again. Of course, of course, keeping keeping the same puzzles, same same levels, but yeah. with you know revamped oh, so, everything else. So, for else. example, if you want to just change the textures, you can't do that, or is it just uh, that's not a remake? Is it, that's just an update or what? Well, I, I think in my in my way of view viewing it, uh, I think a remake is when you, you you may you may reutilize assets in a remake. It's okay, but no, the code will be re rewritten. At least, a lot of the code mm -hmm. is something new, which is okay. which is what I would do with Magic Portals someday. Mm -hmm. I do like Magic Portals; it was very important. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's a Magic really, Ram It's a really nice game. I played it. I finished the game. It's really it's a really good game. Interesting. Thank you. And and since Magic Rampage is actually a, a spin off, the, the the stories are connected. I don't know. Probably most of people who know it have already noticed it. And uh, just a just a, a minor spoiler that uh, the next dungeon will bring in much more connections between Magic Rampage and Magic Portals. Okay. It will it will, nice. it will bring some things. If you, like most players didn't didn't play Magic Portals, so it will you know, won't be noticed. But if you played. Magic portals, you'll say, ah, no, that's it. <laughs> I get it now. Okay, <laughs> nice, nice. I can't wait for, to play it, actually. It's going to be really good. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know when it will happen, but it will, it may possibly happen. Maybe if we expand our team and we have a, an entire team focused on developing another game, maybe that's that's going to be the first first project of that team. Mm -hmm. It will be pretty nice. And and uh, what happened to your previous two games, uh, Be Avenger and uh, Hits the Croc? They are not uh, on Play Store anymore. Why is that? Yeah, since, since we're not we're not maintaining it, and they're we don't never cared much about them, so we just removed it. It was just cluttering our 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 page with you know unimportant mm -hmm. content. So just decided to remove them. From them, okay. from all the stores, I think this, they're, they're not like there's there's not anything special, nothing special about them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what could we expect for the latest dungeon? Is it gonna be an epic boss fight? It's it's gonna be ultra hard dungeon. Well, it will be the link between the state where we are now. And the final epic boss, which is, which which will be the episode five five, I mean chapter five, mm -hmm. episode five. So it may not include anything as epic as the ending will include the actual ending, mm -hmm. but it will bring lots of links and 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 finish some. Explain lots of other things that were left uh, unexplained until now. Uh, it will it will be it will be a boss fight an epic boss fight possibly but uh, I, well since I don't I, I haven't started working on it yet I, I'm focused on the skill tree I have just mm -hmm. the 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 screenplay written okay. so I cannot mm -hmm. I cannot say anything for sure but yeah for, what I have for sure is that it will be a link to the to the next one so so there may not be anything too special about it though I I think it will be pretty nice uh, uh, you know from what I can tell from the screenplay I think it will be very nice very good uh, it's not a cliffhanger or something it, the story is gonna be complete so I don't need to make theories again or uh, for, for the next chapter maybe 
maybe I can cannot tell you for sure because you know the the, the actual ending if it's going to be a cliffhanger or not it's not well defined yet but aha uh -huh, okay so you're like leaving the space open so you can make chapter six maybe in the future yeah well there will there will be something that will make make uh, possible make make an uh, next chapter possible in the future but i don't want to leave it too open that you know if if uh not not to leave that i don't i don't want to leave that feeling that uh, it's incomplete you know mm -hmm. what i mean yes 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 like you know yes. like like the ending the ending of chapter four it it ended the, uh, in a way that it would make you really want to see what what was going to happen it's, uh, it's that, that's not going to happen it, it will be an ending but an mm -hmm. ending that will will leave any something open for 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 for, for more in the future okay, okay. because there, i mean the idea is that once chapter five's finished will be there there won't be any new episodes for a while because we we, we I really want to focus on the competitive mode, real-time multiplayer. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it okay. will be a while until we have new story, more stories. So, so I, I want to leave a, a decent ending, so that you know, maybe people won't be so eager about it. Yes, yes, because we are waiting for the like for the real ending. For how long has it been? It's been years. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's okay as long as you make the ending good. I'm not. We're we are not gonna be mad about it. Yeah, I, I know. I know that that you you were expecting nothing less than awesome. So that's why I, I'm taking my time to to make sure everything mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. is going right. And um, apart for play uh, for playing uh, Magic Rampage, do you like? Uh, get some rest and play any other games do you have any favorite games sure well first of all i, I don't play magic rampage much you no know, only for testing when i'm developing of course I, I go through the like the thing i'm doing hundreds of times so i don't it's not like i okay i finished the game let's play it it's, it's not like that i mean I, I do play it a lot after finish to test it to to absorb what what it what it came to be to see what could be better what could not what should so i i try to play to uh try to understand what a player would feel when playing and like to i try to to approach that but well and when, when i in my spare time i i do play video games i have a playstation 4 at the moment, no reason to buy a PlayStation Five yet, and I have a Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Okay. I I've been playing. Okay, the latest latest games I played were Last of Us Two, Star Wars, uh, the that the, the Star Wars that uh, Jedi. I Jedi I really game. don't. I can't he help you. I never watched the movies or played any games of Star Wars, but I plan to do it. Fallen Order. I played Jedi Fallen Order. I played a little bit of Cyberpunk, but I, well, I was disappointed as. Mm. as what do you think about else. Cyberpunk? It shouldn't have been released the way it is. It yeah, really shouldn't. Yeah. And uh, I think they were maybe too too. Uh, I, um, what's the, the word I'm listening to? That, and that also, but they were also to uh, maybe uh, lack of funds, lack of money. No, I don't think so. That, I don't think that was the case. <laughs> they were to when you when you try to to do everything, but it's simply way too much. You know, they yeah, yeah. yeah. I completely forgot the word, and I, I was looking for the word in Portuguese to try to translate, but I. It, both words. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. They they tried to do everything at once, and then they did it like ambitious. Uh, they were, I think, uh -huh, I think they were ambitious. too ambitious, too uh -huh, too much uh -huh. ambitious, and uh, there there were. I know. I mean, who, who am I to to 
to judge them. I'm just a, you know, just a small team and we, we haven't ever done anything nearly as big as that. But there mm -hmm. were certainly uh, technical issues during the development. I mean, the architecture, in the architecture side of the project, there were cer yeah. certainly issues you, there. You encountered many bugs or what happened exactly while you played the game? I, I The thing I mo most encountered in the game were bugs and glitches. And uh, well, well also, also, I'm not a big fan of some RPG elements that, like even The Witcher 3, Witcher 3 is a masterpiece, but I didn't like it. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I acknowledge it's a masterpiece that I didn't like because, you know, there, I don't like when uh, the game overwhelms you with too many things to do all at once. I like it when it's introduced it in a slower pace, even mm -hmm. though you, you can have all the freedom you want, like the, my, my, possibly my, in one of my top three games today, uh, Magic, uh, Magic Rampage. <laughs> uh, Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's probably in my top three of, of my entire life. It offers you a huge world from, from the beginning. Though uh -huh. it, it does have a, it does have a introductory quest, say, but you, you, you can skip it. You should not, but you can skip it if you want. But, you know, it offers millions of possibilities mm -hmm. and it doesn't make you feel overwhelmed with information mechanics so it has it has people are discovering mechanics from breath of the wild until today mm -hmm. and it, you you never feel overwhelmed when you're playing it that's that's what i like and witcher yeah. 3 witcher 3 i i felt overwhelmed maybe maybe just me but i felt overwhelmed with it too many mechanics all at, all, all at once I didn't have time to experiment, to learn slowly. And I think Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077 also has that. I mean, it's just me. I, I mean, it does, doesn't mean they're bad because of that. Because, you yeah. know, many people love it. Like Witcher 3, it's just, you know, it's a favorite game of many people. Yeah, but it's, it's possibly game, just yeah. me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just me. So, yeah, and Cyberpunk does have, does have that, that it overwhelms you. Yeah, yeah, all the time, and the, the, maybe if the the game wasn't so broken, I I would still not like it. I think, but I I, uh -huh. I still got into it because of the hype. I wanted I wanted I wanted to be part of the hype, which mm -hmm. which they managed to make successfully. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I played uh, Zelda. I played again recently. I uh, I play a lot of Hearthstone. Uh huh. Casually, yeah. I mean. God, Hearthstone, uh, what else? What about The Last of Us 2? You said you played that. Can you yeah. tell us uh, yeah, no, we, your no. experience with that game? Because it was pretty, you know, there were some uh, problems on the internet or heated discussions. Yeah. Well, The Last of Us 2 is probably in my top three list, too. And uh, I think there one, one important thing to say about that to, to praise that game is that they were very brave about it because they, uh, well, who cares about spoilers? It's been maybe a, week, a year. Uh, I mean, the main character people used to love, he dies in the first first hour of the game. That was brave from them. And it's not a, it's not like he died for nothing. He died and, and the implications of that did have meaning for the, the rest of the game. So it wasn't like, uh, let's kill him just to impress people and make make hashtags on the internet. That that was brave, and uh, the fact that they put the the, pe the 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 woman who you saw as a villain in the beginning of the game, they, you hated her for being a villain for killing our 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 Joel, and they they put you to play an entire campaign in her skin. I mean, you hated her. And now you have to play an entire campaign with her. That, that was very brave and it was wonderfully done. And, mm -hmm. and the story itself, I never felt that way for any other game in my life. You know, we carry so much about characters and uh, think about what, what happened and 
thinking about the characters for for weeks after I finished the game. I never had that feeling for a game before. Yeah, so, yeah I had like a piece. similar play feeling uh, while I played The Last of Us 1. I did not play The Last of Us 2 yet, but I plan to play it in the future. So we'll see. You should. Oh, ends. sorry, I, I just spoiled you a lot. So, it's okay, I already saw the, these spoilers. It's too late for me anyways. <laughs> yeah, I think because I didn't I didn't have the spoil... Some, I did. I did have the spoiler that Joel would die in the beginning, but I played with, uh, not without knowing that, I would play an entire campaign with uh, what's her name, the, the the other character. I forgot her name, the the blonde one. I did know wow. that. I did did not know that, and when I when I started realizing that there will be an entire campaign, not just a not just a not just a, a small part of the game. And when, when I started realizing it would be an entire campaign, I, I was like, "No way, you're you're doing that. You're <laughs> no way, no way." And I, I found it awesome because it surprised me. So, but many people oh, hated God. it because of it. I think they're all wrong. But what can I do? Mm -hmm. um, all yeah. right, Andre. Uh, we are actually out of questions for today. So I guess. Uh, do you have anything to say to the to the viewers? Anything for for the finishing touch? First of all, it's mm -hmm. it was a very nice interview because I had the opportunity to talk about game design aspects of the game I never had in any interview before. So more like, oh, tell us more about you know the <laughs> game, or the basic things of the game, and uh, how is it feels to, to make a game or something like that. It was it was a very nice interview, and uh, uh, I'm very happy with the, the you know how, how how things are going with Magic Rampage. I, I do love. It's very important for me that people actually care about the story. It means a lot to me. So thank you for you you guys who make make content for Magic Rampage. Even though it's a very small community around the game, we, yeah, we, we we can see that it's a very passionate community, and it means a lot to us. We wish we could we could give it back enough. Yeah. More more yeah. than we more than we are capable of, but we're very glad, very happy with our community and content you're making, your your channel, other guys who make content for Magic Room Page, the entire community. We we do do love this. Uh, we can we can we can uh, give it back by giving you a good experience that's that's what yeah. i mm -hmm. wish the most okay i want to do uh, i want you uh, like i want to thank you for for giving me the opportunity to make this podcast with you it was uh, a really uh, a new experience for me since this is something really new on my channel so thank you for that and i hope we can do anything like this like maybe more in the future maybe with other people from your uh, from your team, if that is possible, we'll see uh, how sure. viewers react. So they can write in the comments down below if they want uh, more interviews with you or with any uh, of your uh, uh, team developers. Sure, will be cool. And maybe you guys will see us in a stream, maybe in the future. I don't know. I don't know when when the, the, this this podcast will be published, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. It's it's gonna we'll take a while, people. but it, it's a, it's gonna be published soon. It's gonna be published soon. Okay, uh, yeah. that was everything, guys. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for uh, more of such content uh, in the future. Thanks. Take care, and bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Thank thank you very much, Ivan. Bye bye. <laughs>